Welcome to Evolve Strength One. I'm Brent. Let's get started. This workout is a lot of fun. It's based on primal movements that are slow and deliberate to improve your strength. It's all about time under tension. Are you guys ready to start the warm up? Yes. yes. Okay, we're going to start off with the hands up. You're going to go opposite arm, opposite leg. We're going to cross crawl. We'll do about 30 seconds of this back and forth. This set has two rounds of seven exercises with a cardio blowout at the end of each round. We have three mods. Mod one is your easiest mod, so this is a great place to start. Marine's demonstrating this one. This is if you have an injury, a limitation, or maybe you're new to exercise. Perfect place to start here. We got mod two, Ray Lin. If you want to step it up a notch, this is a great place to start for you. And of course, at the top here, the most difficult is mod three, where we have Stefan demonstrating nicely here. Okay, so we're gonna get into a second exercise. I want you to go toes out, go into a partial squat, squeeze your shoulder blades together, and then come back out and bring your arms forward. So we're gonna go nice and fluid through that. Down and up, down and up. You can mod up or mod down based on your ability throughout this routine. We have tutorials. Jana can help you out if you need more detail on any of these movements today. Good, let's do one more rep. Nice, let's go into big arm circle, so forward direction. Yeah, nice and wide. Good, and just follow me here. We're gonna reverse in about five seconds. Try to keep your shoulders back and down as well. And reverse, opposite direction. Perfect. Let's go five more, four, three, two, and one. Okay, we're gonna bring the heart rate up a little bit here. I want you to run on the spot. You're bringing your heel up to the butt. So these are heel kicks. And I want you to pump your arms as well. So your elbows pumping backwards, your posture nice and tall. And just moving through this, we're gonna go about 15 more seconds. Good, feeling good so far? Yes. All right. Okay, keep it going, last five, four, three, Two and one, okay, you and I. We're going straight up, straight leg kicks. We're stretching the back of your leg here, so the hamstrings. We're gonna be using these muscles today. We wanna make sure we're nice and limber. Perfect, and you wanna be careful not to lean into it each time, okay? Keep your posture tall. I'll remind you a lot about posture today. Good, last five reps, and then we're gonna do a little repeat here. Four, three, two, and back to your cross crawl. So right across, 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 turn, to where your body allows you to. There shouldn't be any discomfort with this turn at all. Feel that torso rotate. Perfect. So Stefan, someone told me you ride motorbikes. What kind of bike do you have? I got a Marauder. Oh yeah? Yeah. You ride regularly? All day, every day. Nice, all day, every day. Okay, back to the sumo position, okay? Squeeze those blades together as you go into the squat. Come back out, arms cross, down and up. I want you to exhale as you come across. Very good. So Stefan's getting nice and deep, about 90 degrees. And then we're just decreasing the depth as we go through the mods here. Good, we're almost there. We got about 15 seconds left before we get into the full routine here. What I want you to do is we're gonna switch this up. Last one, you're gonna go hands here on the knees. Just lean side to side and push your knee outwards as you lean, okay? Just back and forth. This is just nice and gentle, stretching the groin, okay? Good, we're almost there. We got about five seconds left. Three, two, and... One, all right, we're ready to start. So we're gonna start off with your back lunge. If you're in the mod three position, I want your arms up in the air. Step back, two seconds to get down, hold for two, and then come back out. And repeat on the opposite leg, so we're gonna alternate sides. Starting in three seconds, two and one. So the key here is to maintain precision of form and control. Weight on the heel, yeah, as you step back, you're gonna keep the weight right on that heel, notice the positioning there, great. And you wanna make sure your knee doesn't come past the toe, okay? When that knee comes forward, it's gonna put tension on the knee joint. Unnecessary tension, we don't want that. We wanna use the glutes a little bit more than the knee joint. All right, down to our mod two. Just decreasing your range of motion, we have the hands forward instead of above the head. Very good. Posture is intact, shoulder blades are together. Looking fine there, Raylan, very good. And down to our mod one, we have Marine demonstrating the same exercise, but decreasing the range of motion a little further. We have the hands on the hips. Good, we're almost there. We got about five seconds left. Yeah, keep those shoulders back. There we go. Three, two, and one, excellent. Okay, next one is a squat with pulse, okay? Hands overhead if you're in the mod three position. I want you to come down, one, two, hold for one second, come up three quarters, back down, and then right back to the top to repeat, all right? Starting in three seconds, two, and here we go. Good, this is functional fitness, guys. We're using our body for exercise. We don't need any weights, we don't need any bands. We're getting results with our own bodies today. Very good. Again, the main differences here are your range of motion and your hand position. So go where you feel comfortable for now. We will get a second round of this where you can actually bump things up if you want to, okay? 
Good, we're almost there. We have about 25 seconds left. Now breathing, you wanna make sure you exhale on exertion. So as Raylin's coming out of that position in our mod two, she's exhaling to the top. It becomes more and more important the more challenged you become to get that breath pattern properly. Very good. Almost there. We have about five seconds left, guys. Let's finish strong here. Four, three, excellent form, Stefan. Two, and done. Okay, it's our single leg deadlift with the imaginary barbell. If you're in the mod three position, you're gonna hold that barbell, posture nice and tall, slowly sink towards the ground, head looks down, hold that position, and then come right back up to the top. Three, two, one. So we're down slow and controlled. Good, so here in the mod three, we're parallel to the ground. Nice and flat with the back, keeping that core engaged. If you're having trouble balancing and you're shaking around a little bit, focus on a point on the floor. That'll keep you nice and straight throughout the movement. You can switch legs, guys. Secondly, you want to make sure that standing leg is going to be partially bent. The moment you lock it out, you lose your balance. So you want to bend it a little bit. We use the glutes a little more to stabilize the hips. Very good, Raylin. That's awesome. So we got mod two. Different range of motion, we're not going all the way down to parallel. And then our mod one position with Marine here, we're actually using that hand to guide the body, okay? Last two seconds, let's get one more rep, and done, very good. Next one, the moving bridge. So I'm gonna get you to lie down on your back. Mod three, you're gonna go hands in a T position, palms up. What I want you to do is lift the hips up, and we're gonna extend at the knee joint. So let's extend out and back down, alternating sides here. Important thing is keep the hips high, we're gonna start in three seconds, two, and one. Here we go. So mod one position, hips are still high. We're not lifting the legs. We're lifting the hips up and down and we have the hands closer to the body which is actually stabilizing the body a little bit more. Very effective. Marine's keeping her core nice and tight here, pushing off the heels which is engaging the hamstrings and glutes. Excellent, shoulders and neck are relaxed on all three positions here. So we got mod two, Ray Lin. Up nice and high, hands are out a little bit wider, and we're actually lifting the leg up and down, but the knee remains about 90 degrees throughout. And then we have Stefan, T position. Opening right up, keeping the shoulder and neck neutral. Hips are really high here, we're extending all the way out to a full extension at the knee joint. We're watching for no hip movement here. We got three seconds left, two and one. Great job, okay. Let's get over onto the front. We're gonna get into a push-up now. So standard push-up position. What I want you to do for me, make sure you have this down right. Get your hands just slightly below the shoulders. Come up to the top for me. We're gonna go down two seconds. One, two, hold for two. Come right back up and then right back into it, okay? Controlled is the way we wanna go with this. Let's start in three seconds. Two and one. Good, good. So push-ups, probably one of my most favorite exercises. It's a great way to train your chest, shoulders, triceps. You can do these anywhere. I do these when I'm going for a walk, I'll use park benches. The good thing about grocery shopping is, you know, sometimes you gotta get to those low levels, those low shelves. I just get down there, right down, look, pause, see what I want, what brand do I want on this aisle, what brand do I want on that aisle, <laughs> then I pop up and grab it, get into some jump squats, you know, that's how you do it. This is about fitness anywhere and everywhere. All right, so we got our mod one position, Marine is in a four point position. And then mod two with Ray Lynn, we're on the knees. And then of course mod three, we're doing the full push-up. Three seconds, guys. Two and one. Let's lie face down. We'll go into the prone YWT. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna elevate your body, get in a Y position with your arms, all the way to W, squeeze those blades together, then T, and then you're gonna go right back up to that Y position, okay? The whole time I want you to stay nice and tall, keep your neck neutral. Three, two, one, here we go. That's it, so at your mod three position, lots of height, we're not resting throughout this, unless of course you feel back pain or something that's unnatural, then I want you to take a break or go down a mod. But if you feel pretty good, you're gonna feel that tension in your low back, you're gonna feel the shoulder blades come together, and we're getting nice and high with that position. Try to go hitchhiker thumbs, that's thumbs right up in the air the whole time. That's it, and then Ray Lynn, very similar, she's going through the movements, but then she's pausing at the bottom. So we get that little relaxation of your lumbar spine, that's it. Very good. All three, very important. Don't look up with your head. You wanna keep your head nice and neutral. So our mod one, we're pausing between each letter. So you pause with the Y, you pause with the W and the T. Three seconds, guys. Two and one, nice, good. So remember, there's no judgment involved. You start where you need to start and you move up and down according to what your uh, abilities are, okay? 
So a semi-squat rotator. I want you to get down into a semi-squat position, about 45 degrees. Clasp those hands for me, keep the posture, and you're twisting side, side, side. That's it. Have you ever been in a super soaker fight? You want to get the whole team back? You just grab that super soaker, or better yet, you grab the hose, and you just fire away, fire away, full range. Okay, three seconds, two, and one. Here we go. Good, keep those shoulders down for me. That's it. So be careful of this. There might be a tendency to raise your shoulders, right? We want to keep those traps relaxed, the neck relaxed. Focus on the torso. That's what's doing the work here. That's great. Good, so range of motion, according to your ability here. Mod two, we're a little bit less range of motion, and we're a little bit less on the squat as well. Sink your hips back for me a little bit. Good. So we talk about an athletic stance. Hips are back, right? That's where you're most stable. Not natural curve in your lumbar spine. You want to maintain that throughout all standing exercises. Very good. So Marine's doing the same thing, but we're crossed. So a little bit less intense, but still effective. Good, we have five seconds left, guys. Let's finish strong. Watch those shoulders, bring them down. There we go. Good, three, two, and one. Okay, it's my favorite part, blowout time. We're gonna start off with boxing and air squats. All right, boxing is just simply on the spot. I want you going nice, quick punches. When I say air squats, we're dropping down into the squat, lifting the arms up as you go. If you can pick it up, I want you to pick it up. Are you guys ready? Yeah. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, and let's punch. Punch it out, punch it out. That's it, so I want you to visualize when you're punching. Get focused. Maybe it's a heavy bag. Maybe it's your friend. <laughs> good, keep punching though, and keep breathing, right? So a good way to breathe is to exhale on every second punch. So it's... That's it, keep the speed, keep the form, be conscious of your neck position and your shoulders. There we go, Raylan. Who's behind these punches here? Who's behind those punches? You don't know? An You're not an angry person? Okay, you don't have to be an angry person. Boxing is awesome exercise. All right, let's get into the squats now. Air squat, ready? Down, up, down, up. I want you to go nice and steady with these. If you're able to go quick, let's go quick. If you're able to go deep, like mod three here, let's go deep. Very good, that's it, Stefan. Perfect, weight is on the heels and midfoot. Nice, good, we have five seconds. We're gonna get back to those punches. If you need to visualize, get that image in your head now. Two and one, here we go. Punch, 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 punch. That's it, good. Okay, Stefan, you and me, you and me. Here we go, who's here, who's here? One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, that's it. Good, he's punching with smiles. Look at that. Good, keep it going, single hand, keep it going. That's it, good, five seconds. Four, three, not so hard. Two, and one, good, let's get through those squats again. Same thing, down and up, down and up. Nice and quick, we're gonna finish off with the squats all the way through. Keep your breathing, remember we talked about exhale on the way up. Let's keep that going, get into the breath, get that oxygen to the muscles. Very good, Raylan, let's finish it off. Three seconds, two reps. Last one, nice work. Excellent, guys, we have 45 second break here. Great time to grab a little sip of water. Well done. You made it through the first round. Raylan, don't leave me hanging. Hi. All right, so grab some water. A great way to test your progression is to check out the Primal Challenge. Set of seven exercises, can test your ability, and then you can retest on a regular basis. It's important to know where you're going. Ooh, it's getting a little hot in here. Okay, so we're gonna get into our second round shortly here. Have some water, drink sips of water. Don't guzzle a whole bottle of water at the break. You'll feel waterlogged, terrible. So as you can see, this can be done anywhere. You can be in your office, you can be in a park, at the beach, doesn't matter, you can get it done. No excuses. Okay, so we're gonna go second round of set A. We're gonna go back into that back lunge. So hands are above the head if you're in the mod three position. Step back, right leg. Two seconds to get there, two second hold. Pop back up and repeat opposite side. Three, two, one, here we go. All right, Marie, let's see what we got here. So it should be familiar now on this second set, but if you have difficulty, we have tutorials. Jana's there with a big smile, ready to help you out. Good, that's it. Perfect, nice and controlled. So remember, we're focusing on control. And I find lots of times people wanna rush through exercises. It's great to go time under tension here to set that strength foundation and balance your muscularity. You want to have balanced muscles, right? Very important. Avoid injury, optimize performance. That's what it's all about. Good. Weight on the heel. Mod two. Going not quite 90 degrees. Hands straight out ahead. Very good. We have about 10 seconds left. Focus, your, focus on your balance. You feeling a little bit now? Yeah. Good. Second round, you should be feeling the legs a little more on these exercises for sure. Three seconds, guys. Two and one. Okay, next one is your squat with pulse. So you're gonna go down to a 90 degree position if you're in mod three, hold for one second, come back to three quarters, back down again, and then repeat the exercise, okay? Starting in three seconds, two and 
one. So it's the same in each mod, except the range of motion is different, okay? So we still have mod one, Marines going down, back up a little bit, and then down again, and then finishing the full squat. Nice work. Good, nice and controlled. Nice and controlled, that's it. Good, remember, listen to your body, right? If you feel too fatigued, you can back off a little bit, you can go down a mod. Don't be married to your mod, I'll always tell you that. You can always move around, right? Not every exercise will be the same mod. That's it, Stefan. Very good. 90 degrees. Nice and straight. Shoulders are back, right? And relax through the traps. Very good. We're almost there. We have 10 seconds left. Good. That little extra added tension when you come back up, right? You feel that? Oh, I'm feeling it. Good. Almost there. Last rep. Three, two, and one. Okay, it's our single leg deadlift with the imaginary barbell. So you're holding that barbell. Stand on your left leg. Control, right? Focus on that point on the ground. Nice and control. You'll feel a little wavering. Hold. Come back up and then repeat on the opposite side. Three seconds, two, and one. I'll tell you when to switch sides, so we'll go through. Here we go. Our mod one position, we're guiding our way down a little bit on the thigh, right? So down, and back up. Yeah, it just helps stabilize a little bit. It's a great place to start, but don't forget about your posture, right? So try not to round forward, keep your shoulders back. You'll feel a light stretch in the back of the leg, which is normal, okay? Let's switch sides. Yeah, so opposite leg, nice and controlled. Good, and mod two here, we got Ray Lin going down, but not quite as low as the mod three position, right? So we're not going right to 90. Very good posture there. Good, and then we have our mod three, of course, right down to that 90 degree position. We probably got another rep out of this. Nice, feel that stretch. Let's go for one more here. One more. That's it. Three seconds, guys. Two and one. Nice job. Okay, moving bridge. So we're going to go back onto the ground here. Right, arms in T if you're in the mod three position. Raise those hips up high, keep the core tight. We're gonna extend at the knee joint. Extend at the knee joint, here we go. Three seconds, two, and one, here we go. This is a great way to train the posterior side, right? So, good for function, but nothing's wrong with a little vanity as well, right? We like to have tight legs, tight buns. This one helps you get there. Here with the mod one position, hands are in tight to the body, a little bit closer so you're more stable and we're just lifting the hips up and down each time. Good, feel that? Exhale on the way up, core remains tight. Remember, head and neck are relaxed all the way through. And then of course, we have Raylan in mod two, keeping the knee at 90 degrees, alternating leg lift, okay? No extension happening at the knee joint. That's it, keeping those hips high. So watch your hip position, be aware of your hip position. You shouldn't have much shifting happening side to side. If you are, then you need to bring your arms in a little bit more or maybe go down a mod. Three seconds, guys, two and one. Okay, we're gonna flip over into our push-up position. My fave exercise right here. Hands about shoulder width, okay, right above. We're gonna go two seconds to get there. One, two, hold for two. Pop back up and then repeat right back into it, okay? Starting in three seconds. Two and one. Now here's your progression. Mod one, four points position here. Great place to start and get that form down, keeping the chest above the hands. Marine's doing a great job with that. Excellent, and then stepping it up. If this is easy for you or if it becomes easy for you, you progress to mod two where Raylan is on the knees. We're looking at shoulder, hip, knee joint, all in a straight line here. Core remains tight, a little bit more demanding, okay, on the core as well as the chest and shoulders. And then of course we have mod three here, Stefan, doing a great job here. Yeah, two second hold. He's basically kissing the ground there, that is depth. So range of motion is key as well. On all three mods, I want you to try to focus on getting the range of motion, building that full strength, and then working your way up. This is great, keep that core nice and tight. You don't wanna let the back sag, three seconds, two, and one, very good. Okay, prone YWT, so lie face down for me, head neutral facing the ground, hands up in a Y position, your legs are in the air as well, W, T, and then right back into that Y and repeat. Working those postural muscles. Evolve is designed to let you modify your workout as you go. Let's get going, here we go. Up, yeah, down, and then we got the W, down, so we're pausing each time for mod one, T, and then rest, and then right back to the Y. Very good, Marine. We're working posterior chain here. We don't want to be a mirror athlete. We want to focus on balance, right? Not just what you see in the mirror. It's all about posture as well. Very good. So here we're pausing after you finish the whole sequence. Yeah, right back down. And remember, you exhale as you lift, right? Breathe out as you lift. And then mod three, we're staying up the whole time here. So it's pretty challenging. You're going to feel your back. You're going to feel your low back between the shoulder blades. Your shoulders are going to burn. That's normal. But if you need to pause, then do so. We have. Five seconds left here, Stefan. Can you hang there with me? Oh, yeah. Nice. Good. Four, three, 
two, and one. This will counteract your forward position in the motorbike, <laughs> right? Okay, so semi-squat rotator. Get down into a, about a 45 degree squat, clasp those hands, keep your posture intact, and we're going side to side, right? Let's start in three seconds. Two, and one. Good, so we're gonna go fairly quick here, Stefan. Watch the elevation of the shoulders. That's the tricky part on this one I find for a lot of people. You wanna bring the shoulders up, but remember, you're basically separating your upper and lower body here. Your torso is doing the work. Your arms are merely an extension of your torso, right? So you can imagine whatever you need to, a flashlight beam shining from side to side, super soaker as I talked about earlier, whatever works for you, right? Visualization is very effective. Good, keep the hips still. Yeah, so try to keep your hips still by keeping that core engaged. So mod two, our arms are folded in front. We're not going as far with the range of motion, but we're still getting a great workout through the torso here. And of course, mod one, Marine's doing a great job side to side, keep the shoulders back though. That's it, five seconds, four, three, two, and one, nice work. Okay, it's time for that blowout again. We're starting with the air squats this time. So if you felt pretty easy on the first one, we're gonna pick it up a little bit this time. Okay, so it's down and up for the air squat, and then the boxing are very quick punches. Ready, in three seconds, we'll start air squats. Two, and here we go. So it's down and up, down and up. That's it, mod three here. Try to get to that 90 degrees and focus on that drive from the heels here, right? Every time you come up, drive from the heels. These are large muscles of the legs. That's the power, that's the initiation of the movement. We wanna keep that going all the way through. Good, we got about five seconds left. We're gonna get right into those punches. Ray, you ready? All right, two and one. Okay, punch it. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. There we go. Great pace, great accuracy as well. Very good, very good. I'm gonna move down a little bit. Can you follow me? Yeah, move up a little bit. Good, good. So you play around with it a little bit. Get creative. That's it. Keep going. Keep breathing. Keep breathing. That's it. Keep that pace going. That's excellent. All right, Marine, we got the heavy bag here. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. That's it. Good, good, good. Keep breathing control. In, out, in, out, in, out. That's it. Good. Keep going. Ready for air squats in five, four, three, Two and one, here we go, down and up, down and up, that's it. Good, keep it going. If you want more detail on form, check out the tutorials. Jana can help you out further with that and we'll be right here waiting for you. Good, keep it going. I like the depth here, Stefan, very good. All the way back with those arms, keep the elbows straight. Good, we have five left, five squats, four, time's on you right now, three, that's it, two, and let's get those punches going, here we go. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. That's it, Stefan, very good, very good. Good focus, I'm gonna have some bruised hands here. Good, keep going, keep going. Good, I'm moving away, but keep going, keep going. That's it, look at the focus in his eyes. We have five seconds left, let's finish off strong here. Three, that's it, two, and one. Great job, man, great job, great job. All right, wow, dangerous, nicely done. You were focusing on something there for sure. I was. I know you were. It was a punching bag, not a person. All right, we got a 45 second break here. Grab a little sip of water, catch your breath. That was good, that was a great workout. I love finishing off with boxing. We're gonna go first round of set B. So a whole new set now, different exercises. Again, this set has two rounds of seven exercises with a cardio blowout at the end of each round. Now gauge yourself, you can mod up or mod down as needed. Okay, so you guys ready to get going? Yes. All right. First one is gonna be a front back lunge. Let's go hands behind the ears for this one. So you're gonna go front lunge, right leg, step, hold for one, push back, step backwards, hold for one, and then repeat. I'll let you know when to switch sides, okay? Starting in five, four, three, two, and one. Good, so our mod one has hands on the hips, but same idea, stepping back and forward. Nice job. I want precision on form here, so focus on pressure through your heel of the stepping leg, okay? And as we come back, Pressure is on this front leg, always on the front leg. Good, good, exhale as you come through, very good. Good, let's switch sides. Good, you may have strong legs, but a weak upper body, that's okay, or it might be the reverse. This is all about balance, right? We wanna balance everything out with functional training. We're gonna get upper and lower body today with this set. Good, great job. So mod two, we're just decreasing range of motion. We're watching the foot plants, and you don't want the knee to come past the toe, right? Still pushing off the heel. Good. We have three seconds left, let's finish this off. Two and one, great job. All right, we're gonna get into a squatting cross crawl, okay? So hands are behind the head. You're gonna come down to a squat. As you come out, we're gonna lift that right leg and rotate. Back down again, lift that left leg and rotate. All right, ready for this? Three seconds, two and one. So this should be a nice controlled uniform motion throughout, right? So don't rush it. Perfect. And that rotation, we're not caving in at all. We're staying nice and tall with the body. 
That's it. Good, good, good. Think of your core area like a cylinder. You're rotating on an axis. Very good, pushing up the heel. Good, so mod two, arms are folded, right? And we're not bringing the knee up as high, but we're still getting a pretty nice rotation there, right? So you're playing around with that rotation, getting a little further in mod two than mod one. And of course, mod three, we're driving that knee all the way up, hands are behind the head, and we're getting as full of a rotation as possible on this. Very good. All right, we got five seconds left. Let's get a couple more reps, four, three, two, and finishing, very good. All right, so we got skater lunge next. We're gonna go into wider and shoulder width position, hands behind the head. What I want you to do is sink down, if you're in mod three, about 70 to 90 degrees, and then I want you to sink to the side, straighten one leg, right? But keep your weight on that leg loaded as you move over, but stay at the same height, same level all the way through. Three seconds, two, and one. Here we go, back and forth. Good, so imagine there's a, there's a wire right above your head there, maybe barbed wire, you don't wanna rip your hair apart there. So we're staying nice and low, going side to side. Marine's doing a great job of that. Good, so not quite as low as mod two, right? Mod two's a little bit deeper, hands are forward instead of on the hips. We're conscious of shoulder position, shoulders are back and down, weight is on the heel. Very good, Ray. And here we go, Stefan. You got long legs, you got a long distance to go. <laughs> Very good though, so notice the depth, that's excellent. So you feel that when you're loading the leg, right? Oh yeah. A lot of tension building up, you're gonna feel a little burning in the legs, that's normal, right? If you can still hang there, we only have five seconds left. That's it, four, keep the weight on the heels, three, that's it, two, and one, great job. It's a great exercise. All right, narrow push-ups with alternating leg lifts. So what's gonna happen, you're gonna go narrow position, lift your right leg off the ground, we're gonna go down, hold for a second, come back up, and then switch your leg position, okay? So it's two seconds to get down, one second hold at the bottom, switch at the top, three seconds, two, and here we go. All right, so mod one position, we're lifting the knee, right? We're on the knees, so it's closer to a four point position with this. Still narrow position with your hands, and great range of motion there still, Marine, that's excellent. Good, so we're exhaling on the way up. So the lifting of the limb basically offsets your pelvic stability, forcing your core to contract harder to keep the hip stable. Very effective exercise. We're working everything here. Chest, shoulders, core, nice. So here we're in a knee push-up position. So we have all the joints in a straight line, shoulder, hip, and knee with Ray in the mod two there. Very good. And then Stefan's finishing it off here in the mod three, getting all the way down. Leg is fully extended, straight leg all the way through. We're just really watching for any over curve in the back there. Three seconds, guys. Two and one, nice. Okay, dancing bridge is next. So from here, we did this in the first round, we're gonna go now on the hands, okay? So, palms are down, fingers are facing backwards, hips are high, head is neutral, you're extending at the knee joint if you're in mod three position, okay? Starting in three seconds, two and one. I'm gonna work my way down here, starting with mod three, Stefan, very good. See, head is back. Imagine you have a apple under your chin, okay? So you wanna keep that neutral space with the cervical spine there. Lift your hips up a little more for me. Good, higher the hips, the more you're engaging the back of the leg, and that's what we're trying to do here. So it's core, leg, you're getting a good stretch through the shoulders here as well. If that's too difficult, we go down to mod two, right? Hands are now, instead of facing backwards, we're out to the side of it. And we're not extending at the knee, we're just lifting the knee up, okay? Still keeping hips high, still feeling good, head is neutral, smile on the face, very good. All right, and then our mod one, still hitting the back of the body here. Lifting the hips up and down at this point now. So arms are straight back, but the fingers are facing straight ahead. We have three seconds left. Let's finish off strong here. Last one, and done, excellent. Okay, so it's the crunching bird dog. You're gonna get on all fours, right? What I want you to do is you're going to bring your knee and elbow together. So right elbow, left knee, extend straight out. Right, I'll let you know when we hit halfway. Let's start in three seconds, two, and one. Have you ever seen a bird dog? A real bird dog is a hunting dog, right? Basically for hunting birds, they point. They point at where the bird just fell. I'm not a hunter, but I watched the nature program and that's what I got from it. Good, let's keep it going. We got a couple more reps before we switch sides here. So mod one, we're extending one at a time, one limb at a time, let's switch sides for me. Good, so this is a slow exercise, but this is a very effective movement here. We're focusing on all four points, staying very stable, parallel to the ground. Your core is tight to stabilize the hips. We're working those extensors of the back. This is our mod two, great job. We're almost there. Very good, very good. This is designed to make you move better, right? Feel better, play sports better. That's it, all the way up. Three, two, and one. Okay, Saxon side bend. We're gonna get into a nice stretch in the obliques here. So hands are up, keep a soft bend to the knees. And I want you to go to the right slowly, two seconds to get there, feel that stretch, 
come back up right through opposite side. Again, feel the stretch through the oblique. Starting in three seconds, two and one. I'm coming to our mod two here. We have a different hand position than mod three. The elbows are bent, less tension as you turn over, but still you're getting a nice effective stretch and contraction as you come out of it. So focus on the stretch as you go down, right? And then now we're contracting to bring yourself back up. Feel that, feel that power. Good, it's important to work not just the abs, right? It's not about the six pack, it's also about balance. Obliques and low back are also important. That's why you see a lot of that involved in the program. Good, very good. So here we have hands on the sides, not as much range of motion, but still getting that stretch and contraction sequence. Good, we have 10 seconds left. How are we doing, Stefan? Doing good. Nice, let's get all the way over to my hand here on this next one. Feel my hand as you come down. Yes, oh, that was about a millimeter away. Three seconds, guys, last one. Nice, awesome job, good, well done guys. All right, next one is the blowout, so we're gonna go high knees. Everybody loves high knees. We're gonna go from that to push-ups, so I'll make the call, you follow along. So let's start off with the high knees. We'll start in three seconds, right? Two and one, you're eager starting already, I like it. Good, driving those knees up. So if you're in the mod three, pump those elbows backwards. Yeah, pump those elbows backwards, that sets your cadence, right? Your knees will go faster, the faster you pump those arms. That's it, that's it. So we're going cheek to cheek, cheek to cheek, right? There we go, nice and tall, nice and tall. We're almost into the push-ups. Five seconds, we're gonna get down on the ground. According to your level, adjust as needed. Three, two, and one. Let's drop into those push-ups, here we go. These are quick, these are quick, but keep the form. I don't want you to sacrifice form. Don't sacrifice the form for rep, okay? That's it, keep going, core nice and tight. Breathe it out, breathe it out. That's it, three more, two, and one. Let's pop back up, going into those high knees again. Very good, very good. If you're mod one and you're pretty good with the high knees, you can bring it up a little bit, right? There we go, just like Maureen here. Nice job, nice job. Are you sure you're not a sprinter? You're not just a rock climber. Doing well there. Good, we're almost there. Seven seconds, we're going back to push-ups. I want five push-ups in three, two, and one. You and me, right? Here we go. One, that's it. Two, exhale up. Three, exhale up. Four, that's it. One more, five, pop up. High knees, here we go. Nice job, nice job. We're so close, we're so close. I know you're feeling tired, that's normal, right? Try to work through it if you can. If you need to slow down, then slow down, but we're gonna finish off strong here with our mod three. You ready for this? Okay, we're gonna burn out the push-ups. We have 10 seconds to do them, ready? Here we go, we're down. You and I, here we go, that's it. One, two, that's it, keep going, three, four, that's it, finish strong, tight, tight, tight. Three seconds, two, and one, nice job. Awesome. Very good, very good, grab some water. Grab some water for sure. Take a little sip, take a break, 45 second break. I'm gonna catch my breath as well. If anything's confusing, visit Jana on tutorials. She'll break it down for you. And then you can come back even more effective, okay? I'm impressed with your sprinting there. Me too. I thought you said you weren't a runner. <laughs> See, the thing I like about these workouts too is you figure out, you use your body in different ways, you figure out what you're effective at and sometimes it's things you never thought you were effective at, right? Okay, so we're gonna start off in about five seconds here, getting right back into it, right? We have the second round coming up of set B. So first one is the front back lunge. We're gonna step forward, right leg, press off the heel, right back, press off the front heel, and come back and repeat, okay? So if you're in mod three, I don't want you touching in the middle, only on the ends. Three seconds, two, and one. Hands above the head, yep. So you should be breathing, still a little higher than you were on the first set we've worked a little bit further into the exercises. That's it, watch that front knee though. So go again for me. Good, so we wanna make sure, boom, there. Now he's using glutes, okay? When you push up the heel, that glute starts firing. What does that do for you? That keeps you stable. That prevents you from getting injured, slipping. Switch sides for me. Good foot position there. So you'll notice the stability requirement too. When you come down, there's a little bit of wobbling. That's normal. Try to stick with it. That's why we're going slow pace, time under tension. We want control with the strength first, and then we pick it up and we get more dynamic as we go. Good, let's finish this off here. We have seven seconds left, Marine. Awesome, love the posture, very good. Two and one, nice work, nice work. All right, so it's a squatting cross crawl. Hands behind the head, down, up, right leg, left elbow, okay? Starting in three seconds. Two and one, if you're in mod one, you're still moving towards that right leg and still the opposite elbow, but your arms are folded across the chest. So we're alternating sides here again. Very good, this is a great one to catch the breath. Slow on the way down, exhale as you come up. Breathe and twist, that's it. Good, good, really get into the breath. Be very aware of your body, where your body is in the movement here. 
You know, feel that core tension. Feel the shoulders back and down. Feel the tension on the legs. It feels good. That's power that you're developing here. Power and strength. We have 15 seconds left. Can good. Twist your balance a bit too. A little bit of balance, absolutely. As you twist, of course, that sets you off a little bit. Sets off your stability. You have to then compensate. Your body actually requires a lot more stability. Three seconds left. Two and one. Very good. Okay, skater lunge. So we're down again in this position, a little wider in shoulder width, hands behind the head if you're in mod three. Get right down to 90, and then you're gonna go side to side. So 70 to 90 degrees here. I want you to be in that range if you're in mod three. Starting in three seconds, two and one, good. So this exercise, it's called a skater lunge. It makes you a better skater, more effective skater. But any sport that uses lower body, right? This is a lot of endurance. Like, Stefan's feeling these legs burn, aren't you? Oh, yeah. Yeah, right? You know, this is time under tension. He's under tension the whole time, right? You're building muscular endurance. You're getting used to that lactic acid buildup, which is what you feel, that burning sensation, right? So the more you do these types of activities, the longer you can actually stay in the position. So you might start in a mod one or a mod two, and soon you'll progress to a mod three and be able to handle the tension, right? Good, keep it going, keep it going. We have 10 seconds left. This is a great example here, not as deep, but very great form here, very effective. Arms are straight out, keeping the posture. We're there, three, two, last one, done. Nice, Ray, I know you're feeling that. <laughs> okay, narrow push-up with alternating leg lift, okay? So thumbs are almost touching here. Chest directly above the hands, right leg up. Let's come down, one, two, hold, up. Switch legs, one, two, hold, up. Ready, three seconds, two, and one. Here we go. Yeah, nice straight knee for you here, Stefan. Nice. Good, good, good. Good. So watching your back position, right? The tighter you keep that core, keep that focus on, you're going to get less folding in from the back. You never want those hips to drop. If you feel compression in your low back, then you bump down a mod, right? Or take a pause at least, right? Form is everything. Precision. Nice. So here we're just lifting opposite knee. We're just alternating knee lift, but still keeping the hips still and stable by keeping that core engaged. Nice. Well done, mod two. So mod one, how are we doing? Good. Oh, I can hear the tension there. I don't have I can... any pushing muscles. <laughs> yeah, All push, my muscles push, are push. Pulling. There we go. Good. You have a strong lower body though, right? I have a strong yeah. pull, pulling this muscle. Yeah, this is good. We're balancing things out. Three, two, and one. Okay. Oh, you even got an extra one. I like that. Yes. All right, dancing bridge. Let's get onto the hands. So mod three, your fingers are facing directly behind you. Head is neutral. Apple under the chin, right? That's what you want. That nice space there. Extend at the knee joint. Keep the hips high. Watch the twisting of the hips. Keep them as straight as you can. All right, three seconds till we start. Two and one, here we go. Dancing bridge, let's dance it away. Good, so remember the higher lift, oh yeah. Well, don't, don't shimmy at the top. Keep it nice and balanced, there you go. So drive through the heels, exhale as you come up. Very good. I mean, there are some limitations with this. If you have really tight shoulders, it may be hard for you to get into a, like a mod three or mod two position. Changing your hand position on the ground will actually make it a little easier. So if you move your hands in like Maureen has here, facing directly this way, it's a little easier to get into that position, right? And then here we go on a little further with mod two. Fingers are facing directly out to the side and we're lifting from the hip but not extending the knee joint. Keep the hips higher though. There we go. Oh, you're feeling the burn now, aren't you? Good, second round, you should feel the burn. Good, three seconds left, two and one. Great job, great finish. All right, we have the crunching bird dog here. Get on all fours, so you're gonna flip right over. Right, draw the belly button tight to the spine, okay? So you're gonna go in, elbow to knee. So right elbow, left knee, extend straight up, hitchhiker thumb, right, so your thumb's up. I'll tell you when to switch sides. We want the hips staying very stable. Three seconds till we start. Two, and let's go, here we go. Nice, we're going out about a 45 degree angle with the hand. Good, and the reason why we go hitchhiker thumb, thumb up, we wanna externally rotate, right? If you think about the positions we are in day to day, we're at desks at computers, we're driving, we're in a forward position. We want to stretch the front and strengthen the back of the body. And you'll notice a lot of that follows through in a lot of these exercises. Good, switch sides for me there, Stefan. Very good, so I'm looking for balance. I'm looking for symmetry here. Stefan's doing a great job keeping those hips still. Imagine a glass of water on your back, right? Nice tall glass of water, you don't want to lose that water. You're getting thirsty, I know you are. I need so that keep that water. going, you need that. You don't want to lose that water. <laughs> good, good, exhale up. Nice, so mod two, not crunching, just extending. Three seconds, guys, two and one, nice. Saxon side bend, let's get that stretch on here. So stretch and contract, you're gonna stretch the left side as you go over, feel that stretch, and then contract to bring yourself back up, opposite side, feel that stretch, and repeat, I love that one, feels good. All right, three seconds, two 
And here we go. Over. Good, good, good. Nice. And just watch for any elevation here. Right? You may have the hands on the hips. Try not to push on the hips, right? Your hands are just there for support, just for positioning. All right? Good. So imagine yourself just hinging from the hips. The hips are going to stay nice and still. Your obliques are attached right there. You're going to feel them stretch and contract as you go side to side. Keep the breathing going as well, right? So inhale. And now Ray is exhaling as she comes through. Awesome. Very good. Hand positions are different. Mod two, we're in a bent elbow position, 90 degrees. And then our mod three, we're hands up in the air, elbows straight. Good. You're breaking a little bit of a sweat here, Stefan. A little bit. I'd say you're working hard. <laughs> Very good. We have four seconds. Three, two, and one. Okay, it's time for a blow. Let's get into those high knees again. So we're driving the knees up. We'll start in 10 seconds. I'm going to go a little quicker. High knees, push-ups, high knees, push-ups. You're not going to know when it's going to happen, but it's going to happen. Three, two, one. High knees. One, two, one, two. That's it. We're up. That's it. That's it. One, two, one, two. Good. Keep going. I want to see those knees. Touch my hand. There we go. There we go. That is speed. That is height. Very good, mod three. All right, push-ups. Give me two. Just two. One, two. Pop up. High knees. That's it again. Nice. Shoulders back. Good, Stefan. Very good. Oh, yeah, Ray. That's it. That's it. Mod two killing it. Good, good, good. Keep it going. And we're down. Three push-ups. One, two, three. Good. Up again. High knees. Awesome, awesome. Good. Again, if the push-ups start to get tough from the feet, drop to the knees. It's totally fine to drop to the knees. If you're getting full range, you're still being very effective, right? Okay, here we go. How do you feel? Out of breath a little bit? You are now a runner, aren't you? Okay, we're going to go for four. You ready for this? I say four for you. All right, here we go. Four push-ups. That's it. One, two, three, three, four. Pop back up for me. Pop back up for me. Good. Let's get them going again. Get them going again. Keep the shoulders back. Stay tall. That's it. That's it. Good. Keep your focus. You're running. You're running. You can see the finish line right at the end. The crowd's cheering. The crowd's yeah. cheering. Good. Keep going. We're almost there. Good. Again, you got tutorials if you're confused with anything in the workout. Keep those elbows pumping back here, Stefan. You're almost there. Good. Let's drop and give me five. Drop and give me five. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. Up again. Up again. We're almost there. We got 15 seconds left. I know you're tired. I know that heart's pumping. Good. You can slow down if you need to, but try to push if you can. Here we go. Keep it going. Ready? Drop. Give me two. Finish off strong here. One, two, and you are done. Nice job. Nice job. You still had more too. No. <laughs> Impressive. Very good. Very good. Well done. All right. Grab yourself some water. Grab some water. Very important. All right. Keep that hydration going. Now look, if you've made it this far, you know, you've done a great job. And we're going to get into a next set, which is set C. This is our extended program now. You know, this is where form starts to break down. I want you to be very aware of precision with your form, right? So if you need to mod down, mod down. If you can move up, then move up. But this is, this is impressive, going into the extended coming up. Seven exercises, and we do a blowout at the end, and then we repeat it, OK? But this is great. You guys ready for the next set? Yes. I think I'm ready. All right, the first round of set C coming up. OK, so the first exercise is going to be your skinny sumo squat. We're going to have hands overhead if you're in the mod three position. Toes are out, right? You're going to drop down one second, two seconds, hold for two, come back up right onto the toes. So reaching up nice and high, all right? Three seconds till we go, two and one. Good. Use this time to catch your breath as you go down. That's it. Catch your breath. I know you're still breathing heavy there. I can hear you. That's it, Stefan. Good. All right. So our mod one position. We're not going as deep. Hands are still on the hips. Good, exhale, but we're getting that nice lift at the end, engaging the calves, working the Achilles. Good, and in mod two, the main difference, again, is your range of motion in your hand position. So hands are straight out, which adds a little bit more difficulty, and we're going just a touch deeper on the actual squat. Good, but we're all still going up onto the toes, and then we have Stefan, mod three, hands are nice and high up in the air. Good, we're getting right to the top, and also right to 90 degrees at the bottom, hold for two. Yeah, that's it, good. Don't forget that two second hold at the bottom. Feel that tension. Three, two, and one. Excellent. All right, next is our Superman single leg deadlift, okay? So let's put the hands at the side, right? Right by your torso. You're going to come down slowly. Extend those arms right out. If you're in mod three position, I want you to come all the way out and then right back in. Don't touch down unless you're in the other mods, okay? Starting in three seconds, two, and one. Here we go. This is slow and controlled. It should take you three seconds to get out to that position, hold for one, and then come back in. This is crucial balance work here. As you're extending, you're feeling the shake. You're feeling the stabilizers having to work in your ankles, your knee, your hips, right? Keep your core nice and tight to stabilize the hips as well. Great job. So that's why we're going slow with this. It's all about time under tension. Switch legs for me. Yeah, all the way, good. 
So different than mod one, we have mod two going lower, right? A deeper position, but not quite to parallel. Very good, feel that stretch in the back of the leg and then it's gonna contract to bring you back up. We have 10 seconds left here. Exhale as you push out, lengthen. Imagine someone pulling those fingers in the opposite direction as your foot. Three seconds, guys, two and one. Nice, very good. All right, we have side lunge, okay? So we're gonna go hands behind the head here. Step right leg, load that heel. Keep the other foot planted, push off, and then I want you to repeat opposite side, same thing, okay? Three seconds, two, and here we go. Working those legs again. This is a powerful position here. You're gonna drive from that heel, Stefan. Yeah, and then switch sides. Good, so as you're going into that position, you wanna be aware of your posture. Don't lean forward too far from the waist. You wanna keep shoulders up, chest out, beach posture, right? Keep the chest high. Good, stepping sideways. And let's watch your foot position here, nice and straight, loading the heel, very good. So mod two, arms are straight out. We're going less range of motion on the step but still engaging those legs, engaging that core as you step through. Very good, very good. Step over, step over, nice, nice. Excellent, how does that feel, Maureen? Good. Excellent, you use your legs quite a bit in rock climbing, yes, don't you? Yes, of course. Three, two, and one, excellent. All right, bear crawl is next. Now, this is how my son walks, right? He's 15 months old, he gets into a crawl, and he just pauses through like this. It's hilarious, I could watch him all day. So we're gonna do the same thing. These are primal movements. If you look at babies, you know, small kids, they have their range of motion, they have these movements down. We tend to lose them as we get older, right? So we wanna get back to the basics here and build that foundation. Let's start this in three seconds, two and one. This is bear crawl, guys. So we're crawling like a bear. Yep, these four points on Stefan here, we're keeping very still, parallel to the floor. So you wanna be conscious of how you're drawing your belly button to the spine to keep that core tight. And imagine that glass of water analogy on your low back, right? You wanna keep that glass of water on there the whole time. The difference here with mod two is we're pausing. We're doing a complete pause each time. Yep, pause, step, pause, step, perfect. But again, alignment is there. Head is neutral on all three positions, very important as well. And then we have Marine in the mod one. We're resting the knee down, okay? So you'll notice as we step forward, knee rest, knee rest, just for a split second to give a little bit of a break. Very effective, focus on that core the whole way through. We're almost at three seconds, guys. Two and one, nice. Okay, we have the hand lift push-up. So you're gonna get down into a push-up position, Stefan. I know you're excited. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so chest above the hands. We're gonna go down into a push-up. One, two, hold, come up, lift the hand about an inch off the ground. Back down again, come up, lift your opposite hand, okay? Let's start into that in three seconds, two and one. Now I'm gonna give you a little pointer on this one. I want your hips to be still like we were on the previous exercise. If you find they shift, right, when you lift that hand, because they probably will, you're gonna move your legs a little bit further apart. Moving a wider base is gonna allow you to stabilize the hips further. Or you go down a mod, right? Stefan here is from the feet. We're a little bit wider in shoulder width. That's helping him stabilize the hips a little bit here. And your hand doesn't need to come way off the ground. It's just about an inch off the ground, enough to destabilize your body and get your core and stabilizers reacting to that. Very good here. We're on the knees in the mod two position. Same thing, hand lift. You can widen the knees if you feel your hips are moving, okay? And then of course you have the mod one here. Same idea, we're in the four point position though. So a little bit less tension on the chest and shoulders, but it's still the same movement. Three, two, and one. That upper body is coming, it's coming around. I tell you, your strength's building. Okay, next is the Superman. We're gonna lie face down. We're gonna be flying through the air like Superman. Thumbs up, okay, head neutral. Lift your body up, we're coming up and back down. For mod three, we're not gonna touch the ground. We're just gonna come up and down in that position, hovering at the bottom. All right, three seconds, two, and here we go. Externally rotate, get those thumbs up in the air. Mod two positioning, we have 90 degree elbows, okay? We're gonna come up, up, and then down, down and relax, okay? So there's a little bit of a relaxation at the very bottom of that movement. Very good, Ray, that's great. Head's nice and neutral. We wanna keep that all the way through this exercise. Perfect, and then we have mod one. Marine has her elbows more in a W shape, okay? Coming all the way up, but then all the way back down and resting. So it's just one movement up, one movement down. Excellent, so remember, exhale on exertion. And then for Superman, flying through the air, we have our mod three. All right, lock those elbows right out, yeah. Feel that back, right up, yeah. Flying, 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 keep that head neutral, look at the ground. Three, two, and one, excellent, guys. Oh. All right, feel that, right? Uh-huh. Okay, <laughs> teapot, you ever hear I'm a little teapot? Yeah. As a kid, overhead with the hands, come right down, come out of the squat, lean to the side, bring your leg right out, Back down, 
same thing, hold for one, and lean to the opposite side, right? So a nice straight line. I want to see straight lines as you lean over. Let's start this in three seconds, two, and one. Here we go. So all the way down for mod three. Yes, good. Up and lean, good. So you want to make sure your head is in between those hands, right? You don't want your head getting in a crooked position and compromising the neck. Very good. Standing leg is still partially bent, okay, as you come out of it, just so you have that balance. Very good. And I want you to lead with your heel on the leg lift. So the heel leads, that's going to get your glute firing a little bit more. So a difference here with our mod two, we're starting hands forward, but then we go up above the head as you come out of that position. It's a less depth on the squat as well, okay? Mod one, hands on the hips, less depth on the squat, but still getting that raise, still doing a slight lean. Yeah, we want to see nice straight line from the head to the foot. Three, two, and one. Very good. All right, it's time for the blowout. Narrow to quick feet. I know you love this one as well. So narrow to quick feet is basically you're narrow, then you're wide. Narrow and wide. So you're going to keep going with that. When I say high jump, you're jumping high, right? Continuous. For you, it's going to be arms over the head, my friend. You ready? All right, three seconds, two, and one. Here we go. Narrow to quick. Narrow to quick. That's it. Good. So keep that pace. Good. If it takes you a little bit to get the format down of this, take your time. Once you have it, you can get a little faster with it. Good. You're going to feel those lower legs. You're going to feel the calves burning. You're going to feel the quads burning. Aren't you feeling the burning? I'm feeling the burning. Yes. Okay. We're going to feel them a little bit more when we get into the high jumps. You ready for these? Here we go. In three, two, one. Hands over heads to fun. We're up. Jump. Jump. Good. I know you're tired. I know you're feeling this. I'm feeling it. But hold your form. Don't sacrifice your form. I'd rather you slow down. Drop a mod, okay? Keep going, keep going, that's it. Keep going, don't be married to your mod. You can move around as you need to on this, right? One more jump, one more jump, and let's go fast feet again. In, out, in, out, that's it, in, out. Nice, feel those legs firing. Feel the power in those legs, feel the power. You're gonna use that power on this next movement here. You ready for it? Yes. All right, three seconds, two, and one. Let's go for those jumps. Yes, nice, good, explosive, explosive. Feel your head go up to the sky, up to the sky. Nice job, we have 20 seconds left. Give me two more jumps. Nice, and back to the quick feet, back to the quick feet. I know that heart's pumping. Good, I know you're feeling tired. You're almost there. You can make it, you got 12 seconds left. Just 12 seconds. All right, you ready? We're gonna finish off with these jumps. I'm coming with you, Stefan, you ready? All right, here we go, ready? And jumps, let's go, up. Up, three, two, one. Yes, all right, all day. Nice job. Nice job, okay. Get some water, get some water, you're gonna need it. So rehydrate, again, little sips. I know you're dying, but dig deep. We're almost there. You've done amazing so far. This is the last round of set C, where you're gonna feel quite a bit more challenged, right? So use your mods accordingly, right? If you wanna stay with the mod you're at, if you're comfortable there, and you can push yourself within that mod, then do so. But if you want to bump it up, this is the time you bump it up and finish stronger if you can, okay? If you need to move it down, I want you to move it down as well. We don't want to lose form. That's the most important thing. All right, let's get back out of here, guys. Let's finish this off strong. Second round of set C. First one, skinny sumo squat. So for you, Stefan, we're going to go hands over the head. Right, right down. One, two, hold for two. Come back up onto those toes. I want you to feel those calves as you come up. Starting in three seconds. Catch your breath here. Two and one. Good. Inhale. Yeah, hold. One, two, and up. Onto the toes. Good. Feel those calves engage as you come up. You're feeling the legs after the last blow, aren't you? Yes. Lactic acid is just sitting in those legs. Good, good. But we're going to get it out of there through movement, right? It's all about movement. Move through this. Good. Right onto those toes for me, Marine. Excellent. Keep the shoulders back. Keep the shoulders back. Yes. Yes, good. Be aware of your posture. This is a good one to catch your breath on. Breathe out as you come up out of that position, right onto the toes. Nice. Mod two, arms are out, going a little bit less depth. Good, we're almost there. 10 seconds left, guys. Finish this off strong. Keep the pace. Good. Five seconds. Four. It's the last time you're doing this today. Three, two, and last one. Nice job. Nice. All right, it's the Superman single leg deadlift. Okay, remember that one? You're standing on your left leg, bent knee slightly, arms at the sides. Right, take three seconds to get out to position. Push right out, 90 degrees, come right back up. That's if you're mod three. Starting in three seconds, two and one. I'll let you know when we hit halfway and we'll switch sides at that point. Very good, so mod one is still extending the arms. Nice straight lines here. 
That's excellent. Stabilizers are working here. Find that point on the ground that will give you focus, right? Nice. And at this point, you might feel a little more shaky than you were the first time we did this, right? In the first round. Good, let's switch sides. How are we feeling, right? Feeling good. Feeling good? Yeah. If I pushed you, would you fall over? <laughs> good. So mod two, we're touching our toe down in between, okay? That's the key difference here. So we're just regaining a split second of balance, touch, and then right back into it, and then not as deep on the deadlift itself. Finishing up here with the mod three. Stefan doing a great job, but I see a little wavering with the leg. That's normal. Three, two, one. Done, very good. Okay, side lunge time. So we're still hitting those legs. We're gonna keep this moving. Hands behind the ears. Step right leg. Load that leg by pushing off the heel. Drive off, switch sides and repeat. All right, three seconds, two, and one. All three mods here are doing this movement. We're just changing the range of motion and our hand position, okay? Good, but still the same focus. We're pushing off the heel. Watch the knee on this one. This one is common to put the knee over the toe. We want to sink back into that heel, like you're sitting in a chair, right? Just a split second sitting in a chair there. Nice job. Good, we have 25 seconds left. Yeah, breathe out, breathe it out. Good, keep that breathing going. I don't know how he's going so deep. <laughs> Good, I know. Very good. So if you're in mod three by this point, you know, you're doing very well, right? You want to start to think how maybe you can pick it up a little more, right? Well, that's what strength two is for. That's it, Stefan. Push off your heel, though. Heel. Good, good, good. Three, two, one. Next one, bear crawls. Let's get back into that position on the hands and feet, and we're going to crawl it out. Your abs are tight. Your hips aren't shaking. Four forward, four back. Let's start in three seconds. Two and one. Here we go. You don't have to take big steps in this exercise. It's all about form. You want to keep your body situated where you have the shoulder almost above the wrist each time and the hip almost above the knee, right? There's small little steps, very effective, very controlled, focusing on that core. Mod one, we're dropping the knee for a split rest each step. And then we have mod two, we're pausing each step, okay? But still focus on drawing that belly button tight to the spine. Yeah, control. Good. Mod three, watch the hips. Keep them very stable. Very stable. Tighten up the abs. There we go. Don't worry about going too far. Don't worry about going too far. There we go. That's it. That's it. Good. Feel the control, right? When you have control, there's power in control, right? We want to be in control at all times here. We're almost there. Five seconds left. Come on, Four, guys. three, two, and one. Nice job. Nice job. It's harder than it looks, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, so it's a hand lift push up. We're going to drop down all the way. Hold, come back up, and then raise that hand off the ground. We're almost there, guys. Ready? Three seconds, two, and here we go. Focus on stability here. As you come up, yeah, lift. There we go, and back down. If you want to bend that elbow a little bit for the lift, go ahead and do that. You don't need to keep it straight. Bend it a little bit. That's going to allow you to keep the hips a little more still. There we go. Breathe. Feel the power in the breath. Power in the breath. Nice. That's it, Stefan. Good. Keep that control. If it gets tough, remember, you've got options here, right? You can always switch it up. Don't be married to your mod. Good, keep it going. Breathe, good, I love the breathing there. Exhale every time, that gives you power. Good job, good job, good. Again, you can widen the base, as I mentioned the first time. Widen your knee position or foot position will stabilize your hips a little bit more. All right, Maureen, let's finish this off here. We're down, we're building your upper body strength. That's your goal, that's your goal. Three, two, and one, excellent. All right, the Superman is next. Let's get you lying face down, okay? Flying through the air again like Superman. Thumbs are up, head neutral. And we're gonna come right up and back down. Stefan's position, mod three, just hovering at the bottom, okay? All right, Stefan, you actually look like Superman. Yeah. There's a slight resemblance there. Yeah, absolutely, we just need to throw a cape on this guy. All right, let's get it going here. Three seconds, two, and one. Imagine that, flying through the air, that's it. Good, 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 all the way up. Feel the strength in those spine erectors there. Get all those muscles on your back, staying strong, keeping your posture tall. Nice work, head stays neutral. Our mod two, we're coming down, resting, and then coming back up, and then another little pulse to the top, halfway, and then back down and rest. Elbows are at 90, okay? And then our mod one with Marine here, still working those posterior muscles. Good. This is a really good one for a rock climber too. Oh, yes. Building the opposite side of the body, right? I'm having good. A all the way. Clark Kent. Yeah. <laughs> well, we don't expect you to be Clark Kent. Good, good, finish strong, finish strong here. We're almost there, we got four seconds left. That's it, great positioning, two and one. Nice, I like how you finished the last one there. Okay, teapot squat, that's the one. Overhead with the hands, come right down, come out of the squat, and then you shift to that side. Nice straight lines as you shift, we'll alternate sides, all right? Two 
and let's go. Here we go. So down to 90 for your mod three. Yeah, and lean. Good, good, good. So as you come out of that, feel the side of your hip. Feel that glute work as you extend the leg from the body. That's it. Good. Remember, leading with the heel is what I want you to focus on with this one. Nice work. So mod two, we have arms forward. They only come up when you come out of that squat and lift the leg. Nice. Again, core nice and tight. We're almost there. We have 20 seconds left. Love the pace here, guys. You're maintaining form, accuracy. That is key. Good. Finishing strong. Should take you about two seconds to get down into that squat each time. We have 10 seconds left. Marine, you ready for this? Finishing off. That's it. Last five seconds. Four, three, two, and one. All well right. done. You feeling Blow those? Okay, it's blowout time. So it's quick feet, narrow to wide, narrow to wide, and high jump. So I'll call it, we'll start off with the quick feet, okay? We're gonna push it through. All right, three seconds, two, and one. Let's get those feet firing, feet firing. Yeah, narrow, wide, narrow, wide, narrow, wide. Good, keep going, keep going. This is awesome. You guys are in the extended program here. 60 minutes of exercise, you're killing it. Good, we have one minute and 15 seconds left. Keep going with this, we're gonna get high jumps in about 10 seconds, but keep that pace, keep the form. Okay. Don't let your form break down even though you're tired, right? Go slowly if you need to, but pick it up if you can. Three seconds till we jump, two and one. Let's jump up, here we go, up. That's it, up. Nice, nice, keep going. Keep going. That's it, Marie, good, 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 love it. Love the pace, feeling the strength. You got a smile on your face the whole way through, that's awesome. We have 45 seconds left here, keep the jumping going. Five more jumps, Stefan, I can see you over there. That's it, four. Three, that's it, Ray. Two, and one. Let's go into those quick feet. Narrow, wide, narrow, wide, narrow, wide. Good, stay wide for me, stay wide. Wide, 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 fire him, fire him, fire him, fire him. Nice, nice work, and narrow. Good, you're almost there, you're almost there. Good, how do you feel, how do you feel? Stay strong, you got 25 seconds left here, Stefan. I know you can make this. Good, 20 seconds left, ready, and let's jump it out. Jump it out, up, up, that's it, up. Good, three more jumps. Two more jumps, one more jump. Narrow, quick, we're narrow, 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 narrow. We're gonna finish this off strong. Good, ready, we're gonna finish off three jumps, starting right now. Here we go, three jumps, three, two, one. Yes, nice work, nice work. All right, amazing, amazing. How those legs feel now? <laughs> well done, guys, well done. That was impressive. Extended program. Sleep. All right, we got to cool down though, very important. Grab some water. So listen, if you completed this, you're doing really well, okay? So if you find it's not challenging as much as it was before, that's when you move up. We want to always evolve, right? Always progress, even if it's just a small amount. Okay. So. Let's get back into this. We're gonna go into a couple of things. They're just gonna bring the heart rate down gradually. First one, we're just gonna go side to side. So if you go lean to your right, bring your left hand over, okay? Lean and then across. So this is not aggressive. This is just gradual side to side, stretching out those obliques a little bit. Catch your breath as you go over. Exhale, nice. Breathe it out. Very good, Stefan, I can hear you breathing. <laughs> those got you going. Those, those, are, not those are tough. Jump squats are tough. Stefan, we can hear sure. you sweating. Yeah, we can hear you sweating, exactly. Okay. Good, last two. And last one. Okay, let's step back, right? Here's your position. Hands down. Yep, to the inside, right? So you got your right leg back, hands down to the inside. Drop the groin now towards the ground. So feel that pull through the groin, not too aggressively. If you can get down into your forearm, and, and still manage to maintain that about six out of 10 in terms of discomfort, then do that, right? So feel that stretch. If you're rocking mod three, think about doing the strength two, right? That'll pick it up a notch for you and that'll get you progressing a little more. Good, right down. Good, good, good. Yeah, let's switch sides, guys. And if you found mod three too hard today, then try doing this again, but go mod two, right? And maybe it's only on a few exercises that you need to do mod two. That's fine as well, right? You can always move around. Drop down, nice, nice, nice. Hold that. Excellent, good, come out of that position. Go onto the knees for me now. Take your right hand over across to the left, left hand on top of that. Drop your right hip to right heel. Very good, exhale and pull. 
Nice, nice, nice. Hold that. Good, keep holding. Remember, nice, long, deep breaths here. Breathe it out. Let's switch sides. So now take your left hand, okay? Bring it right across to the far right. Take your right hand, throw it on top of the left hand for me. Pull against the ground, exhale. Feel that stretch and lengthening through your lats, through the side here, and your glutes. You'll feel that. Good, good, good. That feels good. <laughs> yeah, it's a good stretch, for sure. Track your progression, check out the Primal Challenge and see how you're doing, right? Retest on a regular basis, and that'll allow you to keep track of your progression. Three, two, and you made it. That's it, guys, we're done. Congratulations, I'm Brent. Thanks for joining me in Evolve.